Hey guys, this is Fletch Tuts, and uh, for my first tutorial, I thought I'd just introduce you to the basics of HTML. HTML is fun, it's just a great great thing to do to pass the time, uh, making websites, it really is, it's just fun. Uh, so I figured we'd just go ahead and get started. So you just want to go ahead and open up Notepad, and before I do anything, I like to go to File, um, Save As, and we'll just save this to the desktop. So save it as whatever you want, practice, dot, and here you either have save it as dot htm or dot html, it does not matter. I'll save it as dot htm. And you can see, it's ready. It just says practice dot htm and it's white. So let's go ahead and set up the basic layout for an html document. <clears throat> Tags are held within opening and closing brackets, for which are between the M and question mark keys. So you start off with an opening bracket, HTML closing bracket. And you just want to go ahead and end that HTML. And to end it, you do opening bracket, forward slash, HTML. Forward slash is right beside the opening and closing brackets. Uh, it's on the same key as the question mark, if you're not sure where it is. Our next tag will be what's called the header tag. And we will in the head. And then we have the body tag. We will in the body. So, let me go ahead and using a real website and explain to you what each of these tags mean. I'm just going to clean this up, make sure, get it to look a little better. Okay, let's go to Apple. Right here is the only part in the head that's actually shown, where it says Apple Dash Guard. All of this, from the search bar, or the nav bar, all the way down to where it says Privacy Policy, is the body. So every bit of this is the body. Nothing in this is the header, except for what's called JavaScript and CSS, but you'll get to that in a later advanced tutorial, and you'll understand exactly what that means. So let's go ahead and get back to our web page. Let's go ahead and add a title. A title is something like this, where it says YouTube dash Fletch Tuts. You can see ours just says practice HTML, but we don't want it to say that. So we're going to type in title, and we're going to end the title. We'll just name it practice. Now if we save this, control S or file save, and refresh, you can see that it is just changed to practice. Now white's a little bland, you know, not very much going on there. So let's go ahead and add a background color. So we'll come to the body tag, and we'll click inside it, just space it out, and type in BG color, which obviously stands for background color. Do the equals, and then two quotations. Two quotations are always used. What is inside the quotations is what that tag that you were typing in will use. So BG color will use whatever is inside the quotations as the color. So red's a little bright, so we'll use maroon. So we'll save it and refresh. You can see we get a nice maroon color. Um, let's add some text. There's six headers defined by H, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Let me show you what I mean. I'll show you the difference between the biggest and the smallest. <clears throat> so let me just specify my M tags here. So, header 6 is the smallest tag, while header 1 is the biggest. So you'll type in H1, and then you'll end it and H6 and you will end that as well. Now in between these two brackets is whatever will show. So we'll do practice header one and um, down here we'll do practice header six. Now if we save this and refresh you can see that practice header one is much bigger than practice header six. But black doesn't show up very well, so let's use a different color that does show up. 
Uh, we'll use yellow, and I'm going to show you how to change the text color. So come back into the body, space between your maroon, and type in text equals and your two quotations. Uh, we will make the text yellow, because yellow does show up good on maroon. So refresh. And as you can see, <laughs> it has made our text much clearer and much easier to read. Now let's say you want to align this text though. So you'll come into the header tag and you'll type in align equals and <clears throat> there are three different types of align tags left, center, and right. Left of course is over here, center will be wherever your tag is just moved over and then right over here of course. So we'll just do center for both of these. And we'll save it. If we refresh, we see the text has moved to the center and looks much better than it did over on the left. But now let's say you want an image. This is a very simple tag to use and it, and it makes your site look much better. Images always bring out a certain um, uniqueness to the site. So we'll type in the tag image img src, which stands for image source, equal sign, and the quotations. Now let's find an image that we'd like to use. So we'll just come into the pictures and we'll use the demo photos that Microsoft has given us. This one looks okay. So we'll drag it to the desktop for easy use. <clears throat> and open up our notepad. And our image source, we can see that Microsoft has named this photo just 24. So here we'll type in 24. But we also need to find out if this image is a PNG, a JPG, <coughs> or a JPEG, or a GIF. So to do this, we right click on the image, we go to properties, details, and scroll toward the bottom. <coughs> right under name, you can see the item type, which is a JPEG or JPEG. So we know that we'll be using JPG. In fact, there is the name of it right there. So here, right behind 24, we'll type period and a jpg and we will end the tag or self in the tag sorry self in the tag many of them you do not have to end with an end uh, open bracket forward slash the tag close bracket um, you'll learn about that in advanced tutorials later on um, you'll find out which ones you can use self closing brackets and um, you have to close the bracket you, you have to close the tag with another bracket on itself uh, it's really quite easy once you get used to it. So if we go ahead and save this, when we open up, we can see that it has put our image. But the image is really just too big for this. So uh, let's go ahead and make it smaller. And we'll put it in the left up here. So you'll come right here behind where it says the source, 24 JPG. Just so space it out. We're going to specify the height, obviously how tall it is and the width of the image. So, <clears throat> we'll do the height, 250 pixels. And the width, we'll also do 250 pixels. Pix pixels also pixelation. Um, so, control S, save it. We'll simply refresh and we can see that the image has gotten much smaller. It's still the same. It still looks great. It just doesn't take up as much of the web page. One more thing I would like to cover before I end this video is what's called the paragraph tag, which is specified with a P. Whatever it's, this is where you can type a bunch of text. Uh, it will show up on the web page, and you can edit it as you please. So if we just type in this, save it, refresh, you can see that our text has shown up on our web page. So let's go ahead and align this text to the center so it is easier to see. So, and again, align equals uh, quotations and center. Now, I'd like you to notice if I hit enter and I save it, it does not make the text drop down. That's because you have to use what is called a break tag or BR. And once again, that is a self ending tag. So, if you come here, and you just do the opening bracket br space forward slash end bracket 
as a break. Um, we'll break this up. Now, you'll see if I save this and refresh that it has broken up all the words. Guys, this has been my first tutorial. Uh, basic HTML. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And please message me with any questions that you have. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks.